Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Shots. Today's topic is natal and neonatal teeth. What is natal teeth? Natal teeth means when you observe a newborn baby with the teeth, we call that teeth as natal teeth. But if the tooth is observed during the first 30 days of life, we call it as neonatal teeth. In 59 BC, there were superstitious thoughts about natal and neonatal teeth. In some parts of the world, they feel that splendid future will be there if a baby is born with a natal or neonatal teeth. In other parts of the world, they feel that there will be a disastrous event if the baby is born with a natal or neonatal teeth. But the concern for the parents and the healthcare professionals are that due to the greater mobility of this neonatal teeth and natal teeth, they are feared that it may be aspirated into the lungs or it may be swallowed. Coming to the prevalence, in 1996, they were correlating the natal and neonatal teeth with the presence of cleft lip and palate also. But it was not observed later and on seeing the gender predilections, there is no difference among the males and females. But some studies found out that the babies of female gender have been presented more with the natal and neonatal teeth when compared to male babies. Coming to the etiology, all we know is that there is a disturbance of biological chronology of dentition. So there are several factors contributing to it. First one would be the superficial positioning of the tooth germ and also if there is infection and malnutrition of the baby and febrile status and sometimes the eruption would be accelerated by the febrile incidence. Hormonal stimulation, hereditary that is the transmission of autosomal dominant gene will be a factor of neonatal teeth. And osteoblastic activity can also be involved in this region due to the remodeling phenomenon. Sometimes hypovitaminosis is also acts as a factor for the presence of natal and neonatal teeth. The clinical characteristics of natal and neonatal teeth first shape shape would be conical or it may be similar to the normal dentition that is normal size and shape would be presented coming to the color it would be opaque yellow brownish color either the tooth would be mature or it may be immature the mature tooth have a prognosis which is good and immature teeth will have a poorer prognosis they are can be classified into four categories First one would be a shell shaped crown wherein it will be attached to the gingiva alone and poorly attached to the alveolus and in this case they will be absence of root. The second category would be a solid tooth which is also poorly attached to the alveolus and it is only attached to the gingiva. In this case there will be no or little root is present. The third category is that the eruption of the incisal margin of the crown through the gingival tissue. Fourth category is a edema of the gingival tissue would be evident with an unerupted but palpable tooth would be evident. Some of the syndromes are connected with this. First one is Hallermann-Streiff syndrome. Second is Ellis van Krivet syndrome. Third is craniofacial dysostosis. Multiple steacystoma. Congenital pachyonychia and Sotos syndrome. Diagnosis of natal and neonatal teeth is very much important because it's going to determine your treatment plan. First we have to find out whether this natal and neonatal teeth is a part of a normal primary dentition or it is a supernumerary teeth. These can be seen with the help of radiograph. This is so important to find out whether it is a part of a primary tooth or the supernumerary teeth because if you do an extraction of a normal primary teeth which present as a natal teeth then in future there will be collapse of the arch which ultimately lead to the loss of space leading to malocclusion. Mostly 95% of the natal and neonatal teeth would be a part of a primary dentition and 5% would be a supernumerary teeth. So please find out whether it is a normal dentition or a supernumerary teeth. Mostly the lower incisors would present in a natal and neonatal teeth. 
Sometimes canines and molars are also evident but mostly lower central incisors. Let's move on to the treatment plan. If this natal teeth and neonatal teeth is a part of a normal primary dentition, do not extract it. Maintain this natal and neonatal teeth which is a part of a primary dentition in the mouth. That is the treatment plan. But still the patient and the parents would be worried about the ulceration which is caused by the traumatic injury to the tongue and there will be inconvenience during breastfeeding. So in these cases you can slightly smoothen the incisal margins of the natal and neonatal teeth so that in future it will rapidly heal the ulcer in the sublingual area. Consider you find out that this natal and neonatal teeth is to be a supernumerary teeth then you can extract the tooth. But you have to be very much cautious that you should not do a extraction to a newborn baby unless and until it is 10 days after the birth. Because if you do within 10 days after the birth there will be a risk of hemorrhage because the baby doesn't develop a common cell in the intestine which will be responsible for the production of vitamin K and production of prothrombin for the coagulation to occur. So, after 10 days only, even if you plan for the extraction of the supernumerary teeth, you can proceed. Even after that, you have to check the vitamin K levels in the child because if it is low, then you have to administer 0.5 mg to 1 mg of vitamin K in the intramuscular injection before the extraction to prevent the hemorrhage during extraction. As I said earlier, if it is a part of a primary dentition, you are not going to extract it. You have to maintain the tooth in the arch. In that case, the major concern is the prevention of dental caries. In that case, you have to control the plaque as well as you can apply periodic fluoride application over the teeth so that you will prevent dental caries since the natal teeth have a decreased mineralization while formation. I hope this video would have been an informative one. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to Dental Shorts. Have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you.